Do you have pain when breathing in the chest? Then I'll show you how to get rid of this pain through osteopressure and a simple exercise. My name is Hannah. I am a trained Liebscher and Brack therapist, and we're going to start right now. Sit relaxed against the wall or maybe on a chair, whatever's comfortable for you, and you can easily sit down a bit. You can alternatively use a cork if you don't have one of our osteopressure tools at hand. Maybe try to round off the tip a bit. And if you want to order the osteopressure set, just click here. For pressing on the sternum, it's best to use the tip with medium intensity. If that's too soft for you, you can always go to the harder intensity. Okay, good. Then first, feel a small hollow at the top of your neck like this. That's the beginning of your sternum. Now, if you go down a little bit, we'll start on the right side, right side downward. First, there's a big bump. That's your collarbone. A little lower is a groove. That's the first rib. And if you go down one more, you have a really nice hollow. This is between the first rib and the second rib. The important thing is that you still have contact with your sternum. The pressure goes through your body a little bit from the top to the lower back, so to speak. Okay, one more down. Feel a little further from that hollow you were just at. There's another bump just like this. There's your next rib. Then you'll find the next bump. Then you're between the second and the third rib. Again, the direction of pressure is still kind of from the top through the body to the bottom. And the contact with the sternum, it's there at all points. And then we go one further, leaving the hollow, looking for the next rib, like a little bump again, until you get to the next hollow, and again giving some pressure there. Now we're about centered on the sternum. That means the pressure is going straight through. Very good. Hold it. And next point. Below this hollow, you'll find another bump. That's the next rib. And the spaces get smaller each time too. Next point, and this time increase the pressure a little bit. And hold. Very good. Now we go to the other side. Find the hollow of your sternum again. And this time we'll go to the left side. The first bump that comes is your collarbone. Then there's a tiny groove like this. And we'll go down one more until we feel a really distinct hollow. Then you're between the first rib and the second rib. Your pressure goes from the top to the bottom. If using your fingers, make sure your fingernail is away from your bone. Wonderful. Next point, go down one level. Then you'll feel the bump again. Then you'll feel the rib until you slide back into the next groove. There you are between the second and third rib. When that has subsided, you go one further. If it is still too intense, just press stop briefly and stay on that point. Next bump your next rib, and one step lower. Then you are now between the third and fourth rib. The pressure goes straight through again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, one more. Search for the bump and enter the next groove under the bump. And then you're between the fourth and the fifth and increase that pressure a little bit. Again, always pay good attention to the limit so you can still breathe well. This may be clearly noticeable. It should be noticeable. And next point, another bump. And then into the next hollow. The space in between becomes a little narrow again. Then you're between the fifth and sixth rib. You're still in contact with your sternum and the pressure is going up through the body. Okay, and release. And now we're gonna go to the next two pressure points. For that, you're going to change your attachment from the tip to the round tip. And first, feel along the coastal arch with both hands until you get to the middle until it doesn't go any further. And then you have in the middle, maybe you feel it, maybe not, depending on how it is anatomically with you, you have a little point in the middle. That's where you're at, at the xiphoid tip of your sternum. And we wanna go exactly into the two small corners. And again, hold until the pressure releases. Make sure you're breathing in deeply and breathing out deeply. And again, feel free to use your thumb. Wonderful. Okay, other side. Feel along your rib cage again until you come back to the center to the tip. Put your osteo pressure tool on it or your thumb, it doesn't matter, and push outward to the top right shoulder toward the right shoulder or even towards the right side of the neck and up, depending on where the point is most uncomfortable. Very good. Okay. Then we come to the exercise. For this, you come into a standing position, stand next to the wall. We'll start with the right arm. Bring your right arm up a little over 90 degrees. Take the right leg forward, that is your inner leg, and then turn into the space so that you feel the stretch in the shoulder chest area well. Stay stable in the abdomen and don't fall into a hollow back or twist too badly. Your body, keep your whole upper body turned into the space. It is important that you do not turn your arm in, but turn it outward so that your armpit is facing the wall. We will hold this exercise for two more minutes. Breathe deeply into the belly here. Through the last two pressure points, we have nicely cleared the diaphragm. So now you'll be able to use your total breathing volume. As soon as the stretch decreases a bit, turn further into the space. You may find your fingers falling asleep or tingling. That is totally fine. That feeling will subside once you're out of the exercise. Just hang in there. You're almost there. and slowly release. Shake your arm out for a moment, maybe circle your shoulder briefly. 
and we'll go to the other side. Take your left arm up a little more than 90 degrees. Take the left leg, that is the inner leg facing the wall, take that forward. Tighten your abdomen and turn into the space. The stretch should be in the chest shoulder area in front. Just be aware of your limit. Don't go over the 10, but do it in a way that you can feel the stretch clearly. And again, breathe deep into your belly and out. And if you concentrate a little on your breathing, you will notice that the stretch will deepen with each breath. The more relaxed you are, the faster your body will let up. Okay, almost there. Okay, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and feel free to leave us feedback in the comments. Very good, okay, slowly release. Shake your arms out again, maybe stretch. Watch another video and we'll show you more exercises and stretching routines for your chest pain. Join us now, we're waiting for you. And if you wanna to subscribe to our channel, click here. Glad you were here with us today. We'll see you next time. Ciao.